Hi guys, it's Than from Tidal Gardens, and I just got back from Denver, Colorado, where I attended MACNA 2014. MACNA, for those of you that are unfamiliar, is the Marine Aquarium Conference of North America, and each year they put on a trade show at different locations across the country. It's one of the largest conferences of its kind. At MACNA, there's exhibitors showing off their products, guest speakers, and plenty of private parties after the exhibit hall closes. There were some really impressive displays this year. Exhibitors go that extra mile to try and amaze us attendees, which I can absolutely appreciate. Doing a show like this is a tremendous undertaking, both in terms of the work and money invested. See, Magna is a three-day show, so it's a huge commitment on the part of these exhibitors. If you can imagine, like, hauling coral across the country and setting up these displays, it's no joke. So for all the folks that did it for our enjoyment, hats off to you guys. There were no bad exhibits as far as I'm concerned. But I do have my favorites. Without further ado, here are my top five favorite setups at MACNA 2014. Orphic Lighting. If there was one recurring theme at this show, it was the ridiculous abundance of LED lights. It was seriously like, LED, all the things. I may have come across two or three booths that were not doing LED. Of these LED manufacturers, I really liked the clean look of the Orphic booth. It had that Apple Store appeal, and they set up a series of aquariums to demonstrate the different types of lighting settings all at once. Number. Four. There were several displays at MACNA with a zero edge design, but my favorite was the one at ORA's booth. The zero edge tanks make for a very attractive display because they're basically an infinity pool that overflows its sides. There's a faint distortion on the side walls of the aquarium, but what that gives you is a crystal clear top surface, making it perfect for things like clams that are best viewed from top down. This particular one I liked because it's cylindrical and it's filled pretty much to the rim with tank-raised fish and clams. Three, eye-catching coral. Eye-catching coral is an importer that gets their corals from four main locations, Fiji, Indonesia, Australia, and the Caribbean. I liked their setup conceptually because they broke down the tanks by geography. It was interesting to see just how different each of the biotopes were. For example, there's a lot of stony corals in the Aussie tank, while in the Caribbean tank it was dominated by sea fans, recordias, and flower anemones. Number 2. Titan Aquatic Exhibits. I took a photo of this tank for Facebook, and it got a ton of love. It's this super thick acrylic tank with a central mangrove tree decoration. The lights for the tank were installed in the branches of the mangrove tree, which is like a really neat touch. The display was then stocked with a variety of small sharks and stingrays. Very cool design, and it certainly had its fair share of admirers. All right, that brings us to number one, Worldwide Corals. This was a unique presentation to say the least. The guys from Florida basically built a small room that you walked in in order to see their exhibit. Now once inside, there were big screen TVs, speakers pumping music, and a sofa to go along with their tanks. It's like they built a small club right in the middle of Magna. They even brought their own flooring that made walking in their booth more comfortable. Great job, you guys. Now these were my favorites, but there were so many others that did a great job with their booths. Reefs.com, for example, made a really neat lounge area, which was a welcome sight after walking around all day. They even served ice cream one day, which is pretty nice of them. And those little tanks that are here and there, they had cuttlefish in them. So very cool. But you know what? Who really cares what I think is cool? Here's some of the other tanks that were here at MACNA.
So what do you think? The next Magna show is going to be in Washington DC, and if you can believe it, it is supposed to be bigger than this one. The DC show in 2015 will also be the first show that Title Gardens will be attending as an exhibitor. So when the time comes, check us out and say hello.